Hello everyone, I welcome you all for SOQ tutorials. In this session, I will be solving the problems of ANOVA. Those who are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, do subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. Consider uh, three different kinds of uh, food are tested on three groups of rats for six weeks. The objective is to check the difference in mean weight in terms of grams of the rats per week. Apply one way ANOVA using a 0 0.05 significance that is 95% significance level to the following data. So, they have been provided uh, three sets of uh, kinds of uh, uh, food here that is food 1, food 2, food 3. Testing for uh, 6 weeks, they have collected the data for 6 weeks. So, now we will we shall solve the problem. So, moving on to the solution part, we need to define first uh, null hypothesis. So, for null hypothesis, we will define H0 as mu1 is equal to mu2 is equal to mu3. After defining the null hypothesis, straight away I will consider uh, the table. So, consider the table as so whatever they have given uh, foot 1, foot 2, foot 3. So, consider the values, whatever the values they have provided. So, then I will just add all these values along this uh, uh, row and uh, we will calculate uh, the summation of that values. What we are going to get, let us see. Uh, similarly, we will solve for foot 2, foot 3. So, let us see how to calculate uh, this by using a calculator. I am uh, explaining with uh, easy shortcut method. So, there are uh, so many methods to solve this ANOVA problem. I am going with shortcut method. Consider a calculator in that uh, go with uh, mode in that consider stat 3 in that uh, 1 minus variance uh, uh, first option you can consider. In that option enter the data that is 8 enter. 12 enter 19 enter 8 enter 6 enter 11 enter so then press ac here then press ac so go for shift 1 in that consider sum that is 3 option 3 in that consider summation x that is 2 so you are going to get the value of summation of that old row that is 64 you can note down that value as 64. So, similarly calculate for uh, foot 2. So, just I will go with the same procedure that is uh, that stats 1 minus variance or you can just uh, consider the data directly. You will get that data. So, 4, 5, 4, 6, 9, 7. So, then press AC, then consider shift 1. So, in that sum, so in that uh, 2 equal to, we got 35. So, note on that. And along that, we can also find out uh, squares of 35. 35 square that uh, becomes uh, the second column that is T square. So, 35 square is uh, 1225. So, we will note down that 35 here and uh, T square value is 1225. Similarly, the squares of uh, 64 is given by 4, 0, 9, 6. So, similarly, I will calculate for uh, foot 3. I am going to get uh, sum of uh, that uh, will be t equal to 55 and uh, 55 square will be equal to 3, 0, 2, 5. So, now add all these values to get the value called t. So, Adding all those values, so 64 plus 35 plus 55, which is equal to 154, you can note down that value 154. So, similarly, I have put uh, in the last column xi square, so we can find out xi square is nothing but uh, squares of 8 uh, plus 12 square plus 19 square plus 8 square plus 6 square plus 11 square. That gives the value x1 square. So you can note down that value. Otherwise, directly I can get summation of xi square using shortcut method. So by using calculator, I can fetch the value of uh, all those things. This in that stat variance 1 minus variance. So I will enter all the values, whatever I have uh, 3 cross uh, 16, where I will enter all the values here 8, 12. 19, 8, 
सिक्स इलेवन फोर फाइव फोर सिक्स नाइन सेवन इलेवन एट सेवन थर्टीन सेवन नाइन सो प्रेस ए सी देन यूज शिफ्ट वन शिफ्ट वन इन दैट सम इन दैट एक्स स्क्वायर समेशन ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर ऑफ ऑल दो वैल्यूज सो फॉर दैट प्लस वन इक्वल टू यूर गोइंग टू गेट दैल्यूज वॉट समेशन ऑफ एक्स आई स्क्वायर वैल्यूज थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी सिक्स मेक ए नोट ऑफ इट थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी सिक्स थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी सिक्स सो टू कैलकुलेट दि अनोवा टेबल और एफ रेशियो वैल्यू Uh, I need to calculate uh, the these values. That is SSC sums of squares of uh, uh, column. That is uh, whatever we have done here. So it is given by along this column. I have calculated uh, t square value. So just yeah, I am going to note down that value four zero four zero nine six divided by how many observation we have made six observation along that uh, row. So divided by six plus. Similarly, the second t two square value is one two two five divided by six plus three zero two five divided by six minus the uh, summation the t value is one fifty four. So one fifty four square all divided by capital N. So capital N represents capital N represents the number of observations. Made that is three into six, which is equal to eighteen observation we have in the table. So therefore divided by eighteen. Having this uh, calculation, I am going to get the answer as seventy three point four four. So similarly, I will find out uh, sums of squares of treatment. Ah, uh, whatever the varieties we have considered uh, treatment. So that is given by summation of x i square. That is one five four six minus. T square one fifty four whole square divided by eighteen. Calculating this, I am going to get two twenty eight point four four. So finally, I will find out uh, sums of squares of error. Sums of squares of error is nothing but just a difference of uh, SSC and SST. So I am going to get uh, the value one fifty five. Just entering uh, or uh, subtracting these two values, I am going to get one fifty five. Next, uh, finally, moving on to the table, uh, that is ANOVA table, that is called as uh, source of variation. So then, between the samples, within samples, total. So sums of squares we have calculated. Note down that uh, value that is given by seventy three point four four, and sums of uh, error SSC values one fifty five. Note down that. SST value is two twenty eight point four four and uh, degree of freedom. We need to find out degree of freedom. What is the degree of freedom? Means uh, here the varieties which we have considered is uh, three kinds of food. So it is uh, three k value is three minus one, which is equal to two, and uh, the number of observation made is eighteen minus three, which is equal to fifteen. So number of observation minus one, which is equal to seventeen. So finally, MSC is given by the formula. MSC is given by SSC divided by SSC divided by k minus one. The ratio of SSC by k minus one. We are going to get thirty six point seven two, and the MSC is given by SSC divided by n minus k. So by calculating this, we are going to get ten point three three. So I will observe which value is greater here. Thirty-six point seven two is greater. That is the MSC. Therefore, the F ratio is given by the formula. Always uh, in F ratio, the numerator should be highest value, the greater value. So MSC divided by MSC. MSC is divided by MSC. So calculating this, I am going to get the value three point five five. So now seeing the F ratio, degree of freedom. Uh, the, comparing with the critical value of uh, F ratio, by seeing with uh, two and uh, <coughs> for uh, F of two comma fifteen, for F of two comma fifteen, this value is given by F of two comma fifteen. F of two uh, comma fifteen is given by the value 
3.68 when I compare with this one, this value is less than 3.68. So I can give the conclusion that the given variance has been accepted or the given uh, uh, whatever the assumption we have made null hypothesis is accepted. So the null hypothesis is accepted. Hence we can say that there is no significant uh, difference between. We will write down the conclusion. Hence. Hence, null hypothesis, hence the null hypothesis, hence the null hypothesis is accepted, is accepted. So, so we can con give the conclusion for the given problem and this is what we have one way ANOVA analysis. So those who like this uh, video, kindly do subscribe to my YouTube channel and also share this video with your friends. Thank you all.